So within the world of photography, there are certain natural events that are often very short-lived, but impressive. So impressive that people just wait and wait for these moments. Like Northern Lights is a good one. People will get that K reading or whatever and just salivate waiting to take pictures of Northern Lights. Or a more common one would be say, fall colors. Everyone loves fall colors and a good fall color photo can make or break your career. But there's one season that I think kind of flies under the radar, but really, it's one of my favorite. And that one is, of course, I'm talking about dirty snow season. Just look at this. Look at, look at all the dirt. All the dirt in the snow. We got, we got like dried up berries and tree hair. And it's, to me, it's beautiful. So what, what I'm going to do today is we're just going to have a little hike and try to find no, not try to find, try to hunt some of the very best dirty snow offerings that 2022 has to offer. You ready for this? It's gonna be wild. Like, look at that, look, look at that. Is this just not some of the best, dirtiest snow you've ever seen? It's like, almost black with filth. I think I gotta take a picture of it. And if we're gonna have the best dirty snow adventure, I have to use the most dirtiest camera ever invented, the 1997 Sony Mavica. Locked and loaded. Wow. Holy shit, that is one photo done. There's gonna be so many on this adventure, I can, I might pee myself. Let's continue. So hunting dirty snow, pro tip number one. If you wanna hunt some big game dirty snow, like giant epic mounds of it, the place you need to find are all the parking lots of the world because all that snow has to be removed and they always put it in one spot and it just becomes monumental. Let's go find some big game dirty snow. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Look at that, look at that thing. That's like, I don't even know how tall that is. That is how tall this is. This is truly a wonderment that I must capture. I'm so excited, I'm out of breath. Say, say what you want about the Sony Mavica, but with just an LCD screen and in bright sun, they're pretty much shooting from the hip on every shot. Let's see what we can do. I think I'm too close for that to be perfectly artistical. There we go. This is, this is why I chose photography. I mean, look at this one, look at this one. That tree, it's just buried in dirty, dirty snow. Oh, I think it's in the frame. Guess we'll find out. Oh boy, that last frame took way too long to write, so I'm gonna go to a different disc. And this makes me wonder if like, when is the last time, if ever, someone has gone into the field with a lens wrap full of three and a half inch floppy disks? This could be a world's first, to be honest. Like, just, just look at that. You know what that looks like? Is, is, that, is that not a dead ringer for the half dome in Yosemite? But like, I don't have to travel halfway across the country to take a picture of Half Dome. I can just do dirty snow dome here with my Sony Mavica, and what do we get? Well, what we get is a photo on equal quality of anything 
Ansel Adams would have shot. You can't argue it. It's digital. I call this one caged spring. It's, it's so incredible just how profound and deep these dirty snow pictures can become. Like this is, this is like church. I call this one uncaged spring. Look at this beautiful moment. This tree is just popping out of the dirty snow and the awesome color gradient just, just, it, it's so magical this season. I wish more people knew about it and photographed it as intensely as I do. Mm. That's gonna be a banger. Look, look at this, look at that. That's like, that's like the size of a car, but it's dirty snow and it's just floating up there. It's so cool. Also it's backlit, so this might look kind of either artsy or trashy. I suppose it could be trashy and arty all at the same time. Trash art. Trart. You know, people will say that, that magic isn't real, but if, if, if magic isn't real, how can they explain this? The, the, we've got dirty snow and in the middle of it, a basketball hoop. Like, literally the perfect photograph just here on my adventure. I'm so, so, so happy today. I'm, I'm, uh, just, Now this might be the most colorful thing I've ever seen. We've got some flags and like paint or pink from the flag is making the water kind of pink. It's pretty, pretty intense. I need to document this for all the people back in the old country. Now it may not seem like it, but my thirst for dirty snow has driven me out here to the point where I've now walked about three miles and I can't let the obsession overtake me or else I might find myself out alone, malnourished, without water and hyperventilating or hyperchondria, whatever, when you, get, when you get wet and you freeze to death. So I think for, for all my safety, I need to start the trek home and probably not shoot anymore dirty snow pictures because this is wild country and I gotta think of my family. I have survived and returned to the home base. I must now begin a regiment of rehydration and nourishment. But all of it was worth it for the hunt of dirty snow.